name's George McNeil. I fly anything I can get my hands on, uh, but I love to fly helicopters. Uh, I fly single engine airplane, multi engine airplane, seaplane, gliders, uh, but really my love is helicopters. And this afternoon we've been flying a Robinson R44 helicopter, which is a great four seater. Uh, I've been flying helicopters for probably just over 20 years. Um, I'm a flight instructor, so I teach uh, to fly helicopters and I teach instrument instruction as well for helicopters. I've been uh, working uh, in the company that I'm with right now for about 10 years, and that's what I do. I teach people to fly. Well, what I'm interested in a headset is one that uh, gives me clarity, uh, doesn't give me too wide a range of frequencies. I don't need a lot of bass, I don't need a lot of treble, I need to have clarity. Uh, especially in a helicopter, it can sometimes be quite noisy. And uh, it sounded pretty good. I was able to hear without any difficulty. Didn't have to stress or strain. Um, it was generally pretty comfortable. In fact, maybe the easiest way to say it is, once I had it on for five minutes, I didn't really notice I had it on. And uh, I was very comfortable with being able to listen to air traffic control. Uh, we listened to a couple of different frequencies. One of them was very busy. The other one was uh, just normal. And I had no, no difficulty with, uh, with any of it. So I was, uh, was quite impressed. I'm not, a, I'm not a picky pilot when it comes to my headset. What I want from my headset is something that always works, um, that it gives me good uh, noise attenuation. So I'm not getting a lot of background noise in it. Uh, something I can rely on. Uh, something that you can abuse it because pilots abuse their headsets. You know, they get thrown under the seat, they get dropped. And uh, my heads, the headset I have right now, both headsets, types of headset I have right now, are very uh, able to withstand the rigors of being used multiple times a day and perhaps not treated as well and as carefully as uh, I might treat uh, such an expensive piece of equipment. But uh, I, I certainly like the, the noise cancelling headset over a passive headset. It makes a big difference, it takes away a lot of background noise. And uh, both the one I had today and the one I fly with normally, um, there's a big difference between an active uh, noise cancelling headset and a, and a passive headset. Okay, well, my name is Wayne Pratt, and uh, I'm an engineer by trade, and I've had a number of companies over the years. So I got my instructors back in 1962. So I've been flying a long time. We had uh, Bonanzas, Piper Aerostars. Um, I've even got uh, a summer's flying in a Ford Trimotor. So I've been flying for a while. Oh, it was a very good headset. I've had a lot of headsets throughout the years. In fact, probably my first 5,000 hours were without headset. <coughs> uh, probably why I can't hear so well. Uh, but uh, I've flown, uh, now I have a couple of David Clarks I fly with. But this is a very comfortable, very, audio was extremely clear. Uh, so I'd say that overall it's a very good headset. Well, I like the adjustable pressure. Uh, if you wear a headset very long, your ears start to hurt, uh, especially with sunglasses. And I found uh, medium pressure very, very comfortable. I tried the adaptive ANR several times during our test. The first time I tried it was on the ground with the engine idling. And there was a big difference between um, punching the ANR function. You could hear it uh, doing the searching and then it got very quiet, it became very clear and very quiet, so it's very obvious that it uh, did a very good job on the ground. In flight, I tried it several times and it made a small difference, but never a huge difference like on the ground. Uh, in flight, I'd try it and uh, 
when I got the beep tone, it would uh, quiet back down, but th there would only be a small difference from, from a previous setting. Audra Alsyke. I've been a pilot for about six years now. Um, I've been flight instructing, teaching lessons for about two years. I do other things besides teaching lessons though. I do a lot of aerial photography where I fly other pilots to take pictures and then I also fly a traffic route for reporting the traffic um, in the morning and the afternoons. The headset that I tested this morning was the Sennheiser S1. I did like it. I, um, I wear earrings and I liked how it was a little bit bigger and it was able to cover my entire ear so it didn't hurt my ears. And then with my sunglasses, I didn't notice a difference when I had my sunglasses on or off, which is really important to me because I like that as well. I thought it was comfortable. I had to have it on the tightest setting. Um, I tried the one Newton and it was too loose for me so I put on the tightest setting but it was never too tight so I thought it was comfortable. Um, I thought that the clarity was good it was just fine we tried it at the different levels uh, the lower one which they thought was going to be me because I'm younger and I could hear just fine we turned it to the highest level and it was too loud for me, too high pitched, but I liked the middle grade the best because I could hear my voice very well along with hearing other people. One of the features that I liked best about the headset is that I was able to make a phone call. I was at 5,000 feet and my friend heard me just fine and it was kind of fun to be able to make a phone call and hear them just fine. My impression with the smart update button, it was different. Um, I didn't notice, on the ground I did not notice that much of a difference. When I was up in the air, I pressed it and it did clarify it a little bit. And then I pressed it again and it actually made it worse. But I think that's because I turned it off. And then I pressed it again and then I did notice the difference. The Sennheiser S1 model headset was perfect on the flight. The, the clamping force was perfect. We could adjust it at my desired level and even wearing my sunglasses throughout the flight was excellent. The difference between the passive and the active noise reduction, it's a big difference, but when I use the digital active noise reduction was much better and the clarity it's, it improves dramatically.